My name is Roxanne Jervis and I'm a Canadian landscape artist. We've been working on a painting with an island. Today we're going to put some trees on that island. We're going to use the small palette knife, putting the blade at about a 45 degree angle so that you're not getting massive blobs on. You don't want big blobs. What I've done is taken a sap green and what you're looking for now with the colors is to find paint that is somewhat transparent put some trees in and we're going to make them a wee bit taller than the background hill. So I'm going to start here and just bring from the top down just a few short strokes and you can see there's a tree there now and that is the stroke that I want you to follow. Making sure that they're not all the same height. Every time you pick up some paint add a slight bit of something else this time I'm going to put a tiny bit of ultramarine in it. By doing that, you do not have the same shade on the whole island. Next you can put a little bit of burnt sienna in it, and again it's ever so little. Now I know that's not looking all that great, but you've got the trees there. Now we're going to build on it. This time we're going to work from the underside of the blade and draw the paint up. We're wanting to have a stronger color so now I'm going to put a little bit of purple. My dark purple I'm going to just come on the bottom side here because this is all in the shadow now. And then I'm going to put some rocks in front. Because the paint is wet we can just use pure titanium white and it will pick up the colors that are already on the shoreline. And watch carefully how I put the stones on. I'm going to put a little line here and drag it down. This is not meant to be photographic art, it's meant to be painterly art. Then you take again your blade and you just cut into the wet paint a wee bit and draw it down starting at the furthest ones and draw that down a wee bit so that you have um, a reflection of the colors that are there and I need to go back to my bigger blade so I'm going to draw this down and if you get a bit of extra white in there it's okay because it's just the sky reflecting. I'm going to put more blue on here just to get the water properly colored. Because it's wet, you can just cut through the paint, drag it a wee bit. We need the highlights on the trees yet. I will take a little bit of the yellow. Very short, very short. The paint is thick now, so you want to make sure that you don't press hard. And a touch of burnt sienna with yellow, just to give it a different shade. Burnt sienna with yellow, it's almost an orange. Now your paint is wet so you can use your blade to cut in some branches. Just by going like this. See here? They could be birch trees. And then while you've got that, just cover the, the trunks up a wee bit while the paint's wet and you're done. So, that's how you do trees on an island. If you want to see more videos, click on subscribe below. And if you want to check my website, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'd be more than happy to answer them. So, thanks for watching.